G'day, it's Jay and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing this Kmart blow dryer brush. So what is it? It is a hairbrush and blow dryer in one. And so today I'm going to be going over the pros and cons of purchasing this and other alternatives you could use. So the pros and cons for this blow dryer. I'll start off with the pros. So a definite big pro for this is it is an amazing product for its price. So this retails for $25, which is substantially cheaper than anything else you'll find on the market. So definitely a big tick for price range. So the second one is it's so easy to use. And especially when you're doing your own hair, it is so hard to hold the brush and the blow dryer and you're using up both hands where this is very easy, very beginner friendly. Another great benefit is that it does do a 360 turnaround and it has two different heat settings. I'd say another great positive is just because it is so user friendly, it is really a great beginner brush, great for teenagers starting out with hair. Also once for when you're running late and you don't have much experience with using a blow dry, this will probably save you time, but it also is really easy to use. And I think with only a few minutes learning, most people would be able to pick it up. So I think they're really great positives of this blow dry and why it's worth getting. Cons to just keep in mind before buying this product. So one thing I don't like is that you have to have it on full blast or on the top setting to be able to rotate. Now that is really annoying if you have very thin hair or you're not wanting to put the full heat on your hair and rotate, you have to do it on the top setting. Another one is, I don't know if you can see the bristles, but they're really harsh and really plasticky. And as a general, the product does feel pretty cheap. Um, something I don't like about this is I feel like it just pulls the hair so much more. Now, I've tried other cheaper ones that are probably a bit, a bit more expensive than the $25 ones, and they are a lot better than this. However, for the price, it is still a great option. I think another negative is I find it takes longer for more experienced blow dryers. And that's just because I find the heat setting on this not fantastic. It will do it will do a good enough job, but I find I have to go over multiple times. With my other blow dryer, um, I find that I can do just one, maybe two rounds max, and the hair is completely dry. Um, so it does take a lot more goes and effort, but as I said in the pros, if you're not used to using a blow dryer, then you're probably going to struggle with using, you know, a blow dryer in one hand and a brush in the other that this might save you time. But for more experience, this might not be a time save. I think lastly, the con is it really just doesn't compare to the higher end. And that, I guess, is something you'll have to figure out if this is a product that you're wanting for just when you're running late or, you know, you're not a big hair person, you just want a quick blow dry, then yes, it's a great product for you. But if you're wanting to do all the different nice things that you can see, say, the Dyson do, this product's not gonna do it for you. So I'll show you a bit of how to do it. My hair is really needing a wash at the moment and it's pretty oily. So what I'm gonna just do is put in some sea salt spray. And I'm just gonna show you how to use the blow dryer. The key to making it right is to always have the barrel rotating downwards. Now that's gonna help it, the hair not to get tangled in it or push it up. So I just want to take note, my hair is still a little bit damp after doing that. And as you can see, I went over it multiple times. Um, it definitely does give a nice shine to the hair. And as you can see, the rest of my sort of bad hair, it does, you know, really straighten it out. It does give it that really smooth look. Um, but even with that little section of hair, I would have to keep on going and going. And I don't have that long of hair. So that's something to just keep in mind. Definitely a great product for beginners, uh, but if you're more advanced, I would say go and invest in either um, a Dyson or one of those um, more higher end brands. Okay, so my final verdict. If you're someone who wants to just spend a little bit more time on your hair, but you're not wanting to invest too much money, um, also you feel like you know using a regular blow dryer is a little bit out of your scope and out of your abilities, then this is a great product for you. This is also a great product if you're thinking of investing in one of those higher end products and you want to sort of try one out before you wonder if you want to invest a lot of money into it. $25, you can't really go wrong. Um, so in the end, I think it is a fantastic product for its price range. 
I definitely would recommend getting it for those beginner levels. Um, it is a handy product even for myself to have. Sometimes when I feel like I want to blow dry my extensions or some of my mannequins, I will use that blow dryer as it is really quick and easy when you just don't want to use your mind. So it is really convenient and really easy. And so if that's something you're looking for in a hair straightening brush, then I highly recommend this one. I'll leave a link in the description box to it. It is from Kmart Australia, so I'm unsure how it will sell overseas. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!